Hey guys, this is James from TDB bringing you in between episode number 101. Um, so, uh, if you guys remember a way back, this is again a little bit of an atypical in between episode as we see from not having any obvious brewing devices uh, on our tea table today. Um, but if you guys remember way back uh, last summer when I uh, did the sort of the extended steeps of the last thoughts, and so one thing we can't really cover thoroughly in TDB is you know how a tea evolves over time. Usually we'll drink somewhere between two to seven or eight steeps on the episode if I'm maybe drinking with Denny and we can go a bit longer. But for some of these teas, especially the really premium teas, that's certainly not all there is. Uh, there are there are times where you could steep tea uh, for 25 times, 20 times, 30 times, um, and there, are, and you know, it varies tea to tea, of course, um, but it's one thing that we can't really thoroughly cover in TDB. Um, there's also a lot of different ways that you could sort of extend your session, and for me, uh, if I'm brewing sort of like a daily drinker, a cheaper tea, uh, it's usually not worth the bother, bother to go through these things, but let's say it's a tea that I like, uh, maybe I only have a sample of it, it's really tasty tea and I can't afford it, like a thousand dollar cake or a five hundred dollar cake, then I will try to get the maximum amount out of that tea. Um, and so, uh, so today I'm going to talk about one way uh, and then another way uh, of, uh, of doing that. Um, so. This is actually the Yongqin Hao Qijong. So you guys might be familiar with Yongqin Hao. Uh, we've covered a lot, or I've covered a lot of the teas. Uh, we've covered a couple of the teas on the main show. Um, but again, not a cheap tea for most people. Um, maybe if you're rich, then this is your daily drinker. Uh, but I think for most people, um, teas like this would not be something that you're drinking seven times a week. Um, so... Uh, I brewed this out yesterday. Uh, I had it maybe 20 to 25 times. Uh, and usually I will do this at the point of which I am brewing a tea. And I'm getting, uh, the steep times are usually about four or five minutes. And so I'm willing to steep teas up to that time. Uh, but uh, at a certain point, you're just going to be waiting forever uh, to steep a tea out. So you may not want to bother with that. Um, so at that point is when I toss them into this, which is a thermos. This is a Zoji Rushi thermos, which keeps it very, very hot. Um, and I uh, pour boiling water in, and I'm coming back the day after. Um, so to sort of illustrate the color, I'm going to pour straight into here. I could, of course, drink straight from the thermos. So you can see... We're getting really healthy um, yellowish color. I would say that sometimes this Qijong, if we were to do a normal Gong Fu session, would brew sort of with this yellow color. Other times it would brew a little bit darker, more of an orangey color. Um, but again, this is not a color that would indicate that this is just going to be really sweet water or something like that, or slightly flavored water. This looks like tea in the Chao Hai. And uh, having done it overnight, the liqueur is a little bit cooler. One of the actual dangers that I've had with the Zoji Ruchi is if you toss leaves in and then you immediately pour boiling water in, it is very, very hot. Um, so it's uh, almost too hot. So you kind of have to moderate that uh, either by cooling it down somehow or, or elsewhere. But I'm going to drink this Qijong, you guys. So it still tastes like the Qijong. Uh, I can immediately feel sort of a body reaction uh, in my chest. Very soft, uh, maybe sort of like light florals and apricots in this. Um, there's not much bite to it, which indicates that uh, I toss this in at a good time. If you toss it in maybe too early, uh, then maybe you might need to dilute it a little bit with water, which is also fine. Um, and it's interesting to try these teas like this. It brings out different aspects of the tea that a normal Gong Fu session would, sort of similar to grandpa style, but you know, I would call it sort of modified grandpa style tea, where you would just toss leaves in and the boiling water.
the body is not as thick as it would be in a normal session, but is still there. still active it's it's not nearly as complex as the tea is normally um, but it's providing a nice uh, now it's providing more of a throat feel uh, it's coating the back of my mouth um, I can feel the tea energy so it's it's real tea it tastes good uh, I enjoy this uh, so the fact of the matter is that like these more expensive teas you could get I don't know like 25 steeps plus a thermos the next day that's quite a lot out of out of just one tea so these expensive teas really can go on for quite some time and if this is the only tea that I had in a day and then I had it the following day I would be perfectly satisfied for the most part um, another thing uh, and this is a slightly different topic that you can do to sort of extend or get the most out of your leaves um, is let's say you're brewing and you get you know eight or nine steeps, you're having to extend the steep times to maybe 10 or 15 seconds or 30 seconds or something like that. Take a break. Leave the leaves in here. No need to do anything fancy and like drying them out or whatever. Take a break. Come back in half an hour. Come back in two hours. Come back in three hours and re come back to the tea. It'll be a little bit different, uh, but it's a good way to sort of like give the tea a rest and uh, to get more steeps out of it than you probably would otherwise. Um, and so usually if you want to get the absolute most, you could have, you know, three or four different Gong Fu sessions for a super specialty, and then you could thermos it, or you could just straight up boil those leaves on the stove if you don't want to wait overnight or something like this. For me, this method's very easy. I just need to boil a kettle, toss the leaves from here into there, and uh, come back to it the next day. And it's pretty straightforward. Um, a lot of people have asked me sort of like, what is sort of the cutoff uh, for uh, when these leaves are starting to go rancid, if you leave it in here. I think most people will uh, give it the smell test. If you're feeling queasy, rinse it again. Um, but something like, I, I feel like generally under 24 hours is okay. If you're living and it's summertime and it's really hot and humid, maybe 12 hours something like that so i would say between 12 and 24 hours um it's probably still okay but you may want to think twice a little bit a little grainy some florals and it's really doing a number on uh the back of my mouth there so really really quite enjoyable tastes like real tea And yeah, um, so uh, let me know what you guys thought of this at in between you so doing something slightly different. Uh, hopefully it was informative. Uh, and let me know if you guys are interested in episodes similar to this. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and cheers.